Now we open the software folder. Now, as you can see, we have different files on the software folder. So I'm going to see the plotter drivers, the art court itself, and the video that I'm doing on how to do the installation, and the ultra ISO software. So we are going to use this, we are going to install this ultra ISO software first, so that we'll be able to extract the first CD now we right click on this one and extract so we open it and install the file right right click and make sure to run it as administrator click yes next accept next next yes next 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 do not close the application next And you click on launch and finish so you open the serial file so by the time this window pop up all you need to do is to copy the username which is home then you minimize click on enter registration code Paste the username and you go back and copy the password, which is the serial number. Copy, you go back, you paste, then you click on OK. Click on OK. Now you are done with the Ultra ISO driver. Then the next thing to do is to install the art court itself now. So what you are going to do here, you are going to extract the file to the folder too. So you extract the file, you open the folder, open it, you still extract this one again. I open the folder so you are going to see two CDs inside the CD1 and the CD2 so normally the CD1 we are going to open it you select all the files on the CD1 right click on it click on show more So you can compress it. There are two processes of compressing it. You compress it to that one is not working. You go back. You go back. You just right click on the folder itself. Then you click on show more. You are going to see ultra ISO. On the ultra ISO, you click on add to CD one ISO. You click on it. This is very important. You make sure you add the first CD. 
Act 1, IS05, then we open the CD2. You can also mount it. You can mount it. Now you now click on mount to drive. Mount to drive. Mount to drive the you mount it. So by the time you are done mounting it now, now open the CD2. You click on the setup, right click on it to run it as administrator. Click yes. Follow the prompt to for installation. Click on finish. So by the time you are done, you go to your PC, click on your choice in the 7 or in the 8 or in the 10, depending on the type of window that you are using. So me, I'm using in the 11. I, just, I click on this PC. Now you are going to see that file that will mount that, so that you can run it. If you open it like this, you can run the setup direct. Sometimes the setup might not work in your system like that. So the best thing is just for you to mount it the way it is. So you are done like this. Then you go to your desktop to see the application. Now I have Art Code 2009 installed. So I'll simply open it by double clicking on the icon. So you are going to work it to work on you to this interface. All you do is to click OK. As you can see, the software is working perfectly now. Then you click on create. It has opened. So once it has opened, the next thing you are going to do is to set up the plotter. So for example, I'll just type something to set it up. Then I'll click on this I this cut out icon is a shortcut, but you can go to file, go to cut slash plot under or you press ctrl key to tell you that you just click on yes then if you don't know the model of your driver of your cutting plotter just select others you see others also especially if you are using yengi seiki or any of the other product then you select dmpl if you select dmpl Click on add and you click on close to take you to this side. Now you have added the device. The next thing is to this link to is very important. And for this link to by this time, you might have already connected your cutting plotter to the system. And after you connect the cutting plotter to the system, before you connect it, make sure you, you, you have you've already installed this driver. The, CD driver, the driver for the cutting plotter have different drivers. If you don't know the model of your cutting plotter, just open the FTDI. You click on this first one and install it. You use this first one and install the first one. So by the time you are done installing it and you connect your cutting plotter, then you go to your device manager. You type device manager device manager so you open your device manager by the time you open your device manager you must see the option for port if you do not see port on the list of this device manager it shows that the driver is not properly working and actually on my system here it is not connected so that is why you are not seeing port here but by the time you install that driver and connect the cutting plotter, the port is going to appear here. Under that port, you open it, then you're going to assign with COM number. You see 
USB serial number COM1 or COM2 or COM3 or COM4 or COM5 to any number. Then you take note of that particular COM number. Then this link to you are still going to see that COM number that you see on your device when you can see it in this place. Do not select it from this place. For example, if this uh, uh, USB 001 is the COM number that is assigned to the country plotter, you select it, then you click on setup. You make sure the type of port is on your, you select this first one, the COM. Your type of port is on COM. Then the install port you open here, you still select the same thing that you select on your link to. Then you click on add. Sorry. You select it, come number, then you click on change, on change. Then on your parameters, in case your plotter is not cutting very well, but you don't need to change anything here. These things, these settings are custom settings, so they are default settings, you don't need to touch anything. Then you close it. Then you just click on cut. Then this port, that same port number is going to appear in this place. You select the same port number, then you click on start. Your cutting plotter will be working perfectly, and that is how that this is the process of installing the Art Cut 2009 without you having the physical CD. Thank you for watching the video. The link for the software is on the description below. You can contact me either on WhatsApp or through email to get the software at an affordable rate. Thank you for watching this video.